Dante Dichico, please a huge round of applause. Head of International Expansion, Snap Inc. All right. Thank you. Well, first, uh, I'll play a quick video. Those who don't know, Sana is my best friend. Amigo. My best friend. We're always best friends. We share our other side of ourselves that we don't make public. humor in it then there's no fun. <laughs> it just makes you feel happy, you know. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for having me first off. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, it's always great to be, uh, to be here in Mumbai. Um, I, uh, as, as you're saying, I uh, lead global expansion and growth uh, for Snapchat's advertising business. I've uh, been at the company for a little over four and a half years. Uh, we've done many different things, but uh, we're very excited to be uh, expanding into the Indian market. We've done quite a bit here um, this year already, uh, but we think the best is the best is yet to come. And there's my Bitmoji saying hi to everybody. So first off, I kind of want to talk about when we say Snapchat is a camera company and what exactly does that mean? So I figured I'd show you guys some, uh, some real world examples of the camera in action. So last week, uh, I was in, uh, in Tokyo, which is uh, far but uh, much closer to here than Los Angeles. Uh, and I was using the Snapchat camera to put it over a teacup just to see uh, what's going on there. So I open up the Snapchat camera, I press and hold on the teacup, it visually recognizes what's going on and it's, there's an integration with Amazon, it comes up, and I actually buy a teacup with an Amazon right in there. That is a feature that's available live right now on Snapchat. Our location-based capabilities are also incredibly important too. And I think when we talk about the importance of visual communication, um, can't overstate how important it is that a picture is worth a thousand words. So this is when I was getting in the cab from the airport, and instead of texting my friends, I just sent them this. <laughs> And there, uh, through our uh, location technology, I can swipe, uh, swipe left to a filter, and it literally tells me the specific terminal I'm in when I'm communicating that little quick moment with my friends. Um, then I think that one very important thing to just know is that um, Snapchat is just fun to use. You saw in that, in that sizzle, 95% of users say that Snapchat makes them happy. And I think that that runs, uh, it's a very unique differentiator from other social platforms. I think there's a lot of discourse uh, kind of in the industry today around, around kind of the health of social media in society. And I think that that's very refreshing that Snapchat makes users happy. So this is me. Now it's happy, now it's a little upset with me. And now it's sad. And now he's in love. <laughs> so this is, and then this is like, again, like the visual power of the camera can be very, uh, have very good utility purposes like the Amazon one, and it can also be very fun, all within one place. 
So I think this right here is a quick video which is gonna kinda show you what we're up to with regards to innovation in the camera today. So as you can see, this camera is really a launching off point for communication across our entire platform. Before we go deeper into our audience, I want to show you, you saw um, in that sizzle landmarkers. It's kind of the newest technology we have where um, there's around 13 landmarks in the world where we map out in 3D um, the model within our platform so users can go within a 200, mile, 200 meter radius of it, open up the snap camera, and it unlocks an augmented reality experience uh, within that. We actually just launched a few weeks ago that for the Gateway of India right here in Mumbai. So I'll show you a couple uh, fun things that if you went to the Gateway right now, you'd be able to unlock this within the app. This one is my personal favorite. So again, it's just, it's fun, it's silly, it's fun to use, but incredibly powerful, incredibly innovative, and incredibly engaging. So quick overview, I think that with the camera being in the center, our app is really set up into three main areas. There's the camera in the center, communication on the left, and content on the right. I think two very important things to think about when you think of taking a snap within our camera is that one, uh, it is taken within our camera. Um, I think if I uh, send you know, a selfie of my friend and I from a football match or a cricket match, um, if they receive that photo on WhatsApp uh, or another platform, that could have been taken today, but it also could have been taken three months ago or one year ago. If I send that to them on Snapchat, it was taken within our camera so they know I'm physically there right now. Then it disappears after, they, after we send it to them. So because it disappears and that ephemeral nature of our platform, it, it kind of reduces the pressure to take the perfect photo or video. You really feel comfortable to just be in the moment, take it, and really communicate with that, with that photo or video. So content coming from the camera to the left is when I'm communicating with my friends, and then to the right is when I can post that to my story, um, which is kind of a, a chronological feed. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with, with the stories format. Um, and then within there, um, we kind of like innovated further and allowed publishers to play in that space as well, which I'll talk a little about later. And that's kind of where our video platform is built. So everything within Snapchat for brands and publishers was really first built with the consumer in mind. So let's talk about our growing audience. As of today, uh, this is a stat literally as of like the last couple of days, Snapchat reaches over 19 million uh, users in India uh, on a monthly basis. Um, that is over 60% growth since just April of this year. So we're experiencing incredibly rapid growth here in this market, and we expect that trend to very much continue. Um, another important, uh, I think, thing to note is um, over 50% of our audience is 18 to 24, and then over 55% of our audience is female, and which I think runs in stark contrast to other platforms that are, that are majority male. And I think that um, that really speaks to um, people feeling comfortable to just be on Snapchat, express themselves, Again, it's a closed platform, so in order for me to send a snap to someone, I have to add them and they have to add me back, which is very different from kind of elsewhere where you can just message anyone, anyone directly. Oh, go, go back real quick. Oops, sorry, can we go back a couple slides? Just uh, one more. There we go, perfect. So I think one, one important thing to know right there, our audience is also unduplicated. So 
um, approximately 84% of the Snapchat audience cannot be reachable on TikTok. Um, also, 12% of the Snapchat audience cannot be reached on Instagram, and I think that a perception in the market could be that it's an entirely duplicated audience because we're smaller, but I think it really speaks to the fact that Snapchat is a, is a differentiated uh, premium audience. We're mostly concentrated in the dense urban areas. Uh, I think here in Mumbai, we've gotten very large uh, Delhi, Punjab, we're also doing very well. Um, so I think that, uh, again, because it's a visual communication platform, there is a clear difference in value prop there uh, and the type of uh, that kind of differentiated user base. We are very much a leader in mobile storytelling in augmented reality. This right here is some of our sky segmentation technology, which it really maps the entire sky. And again, something fun, just like a whale <laughs> flying, flying through there. Um, this results in 3.5 billion snaps being created in our camera every single day. And we've allowed brands to really play in this space and see a lot of success there. So here's a quick example uh, of what HBO did around the launch of Game of Thrones. I'm sure there's a lot of Game of Thrones fans out there, but they really did a great job of using our augmented reality technology to really capitalize on that moment uh, when the final season of Game of Thrones launched earlier this year. The final season of Game of Thrones signaled the end of an era. It was perhaps the last time a live TV audience would tune in together at scale. To promote this event, HBO set a North Star. The world stops for Game of Thrones. Our story begins at South by Southwest. HBO and Snapchat teamed up to bring their Bleed for the Throne activation to life in the hands of their fans. AR technology, triggered by real world maps, pins, and banners, drove fans to stop and explore Westeros more deeply spending up to an extra 86 seconds at each hotspot. As premiere day neared, the ambition grew. Could they bring Westeros to the middle of a real, major city? First, they built the iconic dragon Viserion in AR, a hair-raising detail. Second, they brought Viserion to the city in a way that had never been done before. Snapchat used computer vision to train its camera on New York's Flatiron Building. They sourced public snaps to construct a 3D model, learning its geometry with pinpoint precision. With that, Viserion descended on Manhattan. Passersby froze in the winter of Westeros for over a minute on average, in the middle of Broadway, and nearly one in four shared it with a friend. The internet and media caught fire. I 